But first, we want to start in Sacramento, where that man was on the Doco parking garage roof for hours this morning before police shot him. And that's where KCRA 3's Brittany Hope joins us live. So, Brittany, what's happening there right now? Lisa, after hours of closures overnight into this morning, even the early afternoon, everything here is back open. We're standing on the sixth floor of the Doco parking lot and just behind me here in the corner on that ledge. That is where we saw that man standing for hours this morning, waving that gun around until police shot and killed him. Let's break down the timeline of what exactly happened and when. Just after one o'clock this morning, police say they got multiple calls about a person armed with a gun. Just after two o'clock, our first crew arrived on the scene. For hours, they watched as he walked around the parking lot roof, oftentimes waving this gun around. Then, just after 5 o'clock is when police shot and killed the man after they say they tried to negotiate with him for hours. Our cameras were rolling and we are live. We were live on air when that deadly shooting happened. We are going to show you the video of the moment that shooting happened, but we are going to pause it before you see the impact of the actual gunshot. You will still be able to hear the gunshot, though you'll also be able to hear Melanie's reporting from the morning. We do want to warn you that this is really tough to watch. So what you're going to see is he is sitting down and then abruptly he stands up. Take a listen. We don't even have a sense at this point because we are being held back as to what's happening on the inside of the parking garage. Um, but we have not seen sort of like that, you know, tactical ground approach happening going toward the parking structure, at least since we've been out here since around 2.30 this morning. And the impact of that gunshot happened just after we froze the frame there. Late this morning in a briefing with media, police said that man fired several rounds while officers were negotiating with him. Our crews who were here on the ground all morning did not see or hear any other rounds being fired. I also spoke to a hotel guest who says they were staying the Holiday Inn right across the way, just a few feet away, and they said they only heard one gunshot all night and into the morning. I asked police about those multiple rounds that they say the the person had fired and they say that's part of their investigation. We did talk to a community advocate though who says he wants clearer answers on that. To be in a, uh, uh, the mind of the officers at that moment or for whoever said let's take them down, you know, there has to be something that they saw, right, that we might have not seen, you know, and that's why when we talk about transparency you have the body cameras and hopefully we'll see the footage so we can see exactly what we need to see so the public can be clear. Um, a lot of people in incidents like this, some folks will look at it like the person had a gun, what do you expect the officers to do? But again, in moments of mental health episodes, right? We as a community don't always look at that it has to be death first, right? And of course, we are still pushing for those answers. Questions we're still waiting to hear back from police from are on their crisis negotiation team and also their choice to use lethal force. Now this morning, police did tell me that they would not be having another press conference today and they would not be going on camera again with us today. But they did say that they would be sending an email with some more information. At this point, we're still waiting for that. We're live at DOCO, Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. Brittany, thank you. And the shooting had workers at the Golden One Center up all night. They were just getting off off from last night's Jonas Brothers concert when police told them about the man with a gun. He was in the stairs like for for like three, four hours and then he was walking around and he went and laid down on the ground. It was scary.